you hear it in rap music? You made the deal with the devil. He gives you the money up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then your fucking soul's gone for the rest of your life. Same with drugs. It's an illusion. Mm. And he goes to me, he goes, gee, what you're doing is, there's nothing wrong with it. And I was mm. like, are you sure? Because a lot of people are giving me a lot of hate for but Why are you calling out these scammers? I just wanted to give a bit of hope, right? There's no one really talking about this kind of stuff, right? Everyone says this and that, but no one's actually come out there and talked about these kind of things, right? You don't even realize I'm the biggest fucking nerd out there. <laughs> I'm Amir Talio. I'm a self-made businessman, multi-millionaire, watch enthusiast, car collector, and I've just had fun with it, right? So don't take some of the stuff that we're going to talk about today too seriously, right? We're going to have a giggle, we're going to have a laugh, and we're going to try motivating people. So we're going to talk about past experiences and, and, and stuff like that. Right, people, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Minted Minds podcast. Now, let me tell you, today, um, I'm actually in Northampton. Now, if you can't really tell about the background, um, I am with your man, Amir Talio. What's going on, bro? <laughs> what's going on, bro? Glad Hi. to have you. <laughs> now, thanks for your time. I know you're a busy man. Um, one, of the re one of the things that we're going to talk about is, you know, what we got here, what, what, one of the offices that we're sitting in. Um, but before that, one of the, so when I came across you, um, it was a few years ago, and let's just say you're an outspoken guy, yeah, you don't, you <laughs> don't shy away from, you know, um, you know, confrontation, or, you know, just, you, you say how it is. Now, have, have you always been like that? I'll be honest with you, I'm not fussed about people. Other people cannot dictate what I can and can't do. Because they can't dictate whether food's, food's on my table or not. So me having to worry about what someone else thinks of me, I don't care about none of that. So all these people you're saying, I've got issues with and this and that, that doesn't mean nothing to me. It doesn't, I don't even want to give them the clout of even talking about them. Does that make sense? Mm. These people means they're irrelevant to me. We're here for business. Marshall, the guy's doing well. Um, and, and we're here just to kind of... Get what's in your mind, bro. How you've managed to achieve what you've achieved. Like you said, multi-millionaire, um, you know, self-made. Mashallah. So, alhamdulillah, you know what it is, right? I'm going to give you a little backstory. So, in case you guys are probably watching this for the first time. So, we've come from very humble beginnings. So, we grew up in, in, in Luton, right? So, in case you're, well, if you're, if you're watching this and you're up, you know what Luton is, yeah, right? Yeah. Luton, it, it's, it's not the best of the best when it comes to a nice community of towns to grow up in, right? Yeah, yeah. Nothing but crime. And it's very similar to from like, like Birmingham, yeah. right? Nothing but crime, fraud, gangs, knife crime, gun crime, everything, mm. right? So we grew up from, from nothing. Alhamdulillah, now we're at a stage now where we're comfortable, right? We're very comfortable. I think you're more than comfortable. But <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're doing all right, innit? Yeah. We're doing all right, right? But you have to understand, we've put in the graph to get here. It never happened yeah. overnight, right? My dad was a taxi driver for 40 years. And now 90% of the people that are going to be watching this, their old man's probably a taxi driver even up until now. So it, I just wanted to give a bit of hope, right? There's no one really talking about this kind of stuff, right? Everyone says this and that, but no one's actually come out there and talked about these kind of things, right? A lot of Apne, a lot of Pakistan, so, so a lot of people don't actually know this because they, they can't really understand when, my, when they say, I'm your Italian, they think I'm some Spanish or God knows, Moroccan. I've heard so many things. I'm actually Pakistani, right? <laughs> I'm actually your Abnam. I'm actually from Jhelum, back home in Pakistan. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Raul Bindi. Raul Bindi, okay. He thought, nice. he thought I was Bengali, by the way. He got, he got his name's Abdul. I was like, brother, you're Baya. <laughs> Ra, but you're Wagwan, but like, it's a need. And he was like, brother, I'm a Paki. I was like, Ra. <laughs> right? So, so you have to understand, right? We come from very humble beginnings. And my mom. She was doing nothing but sewing machines. Back, no, back in them days, that was all that was there. You're either a taxi driver, you're either working in a restaurant, or you're doing sewing machines or in a factory, right? And growing up, this is not what I wanted. So there's not a lot of work for immigrants, okay. right? And so we come over on planes, we could barely afford the plane tickets, yeah. and we done the, what everyone does, sold land, sold jewelry, whatever it is, just to get your asses down here. So our family's done that for a reason. And the reason was so they can have a better future for their sons, their daughters, right? Just like many people out there. But what you have to seem to understand is, I see people nowadays, especially in Birmingham, Bradford, East, I get so many people come up to me, gee, tell us how to make money. Tell us in the room, brother, where are you living? Oh, I'm in the hood. All right, cool. What are you doing on the weekends? Oh, going out partying, doing this. So everyone say, your main job right here, right now, should be focusing on getting yourself out of the ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
out at the ends. You got food on the table today? Yes, cool. You got a phone? Yes, iPhone 13. Fucking full 5G. I ain't even got 5G, right? You got fucking, you got a car? Uh, cool. You got petrol? Cool. You got a job? You're living nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are living nice. I can promise you that right now. But you don't want to leave your ends. Yet your mum, your dad, they left their ends. Right? That's their ends, isn't it? Mm. Pakistan, Raupin, you're talking about Jelam. All these ends, every single one, your family members, no, your mum and dad, they left their ends. Yeah, yeah. Right? They left their ends to come here so their family could be better. And yet you don't want to leave your ends. Why? Because my boys are here. My family's here. My friends are here. I grew up with these people. I know these people. Bro, you're hanging around these drug dealers. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? What good's going to happen to it? The other day, I was with one of my boys. And he's like, gee, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. I was like, why? What's happened? I need to go to a prison visit. I was like, oh, fucking hell. And just reminded me, bro, his little brother was sitting there chilling, doing what everyone does, young kids, right? And I've got little cousins that do still do this till this day. And I keep chatting shit to him, bro, don't do that. He's sitting there chilling with the local drug dealers. Okay. In the S3s, in the M4s, zooming out, bus and chase here, bus and chase there. What's happened? They was on the elbow. Six mm. months, they was watching him. Feds were watching him. There was six months under elbow. They see the skeezer. This skeezer goes uni. He's trying to be a lawyer. Imagine that, a life as well. He's trying to be a lawyer. What's happened? He's been under elbow. They said he was a part of this crime syndicate. He was a part of this gang. He was the guy that was doing this and so on. So it was the guy was legit as fuck. All he was doing was chilling with the local drug dealer. Chilling with the wrong That people. was his boy. He grew up, went to school with him. Now he's sitting there banged up. You can Google this shit as well. I'm not but even they, making but this up. But it's, it's, you're in your, you're putting yourself in a situation. You're putting yourself, like you're talking about, uh, I said it myself, I would never bring my wife and take her to a club because there's alcohol around there. Bruv, we're all human. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We can be easily, easily manipulated, or, or we're all we're all humans in the sense where we all exactly. have bad days, yeah. we all have good days. Imagine I'm around alcohol and I'm having a bad day, and I see, and I know everything about alcohol now because I see it on the fucking internet. I see people. What do they do? They go work fucking nine to fives. Come on the weekend, they're getting fucked. They get licked. They're shit faced. Why are they doing it? They're trying to escape realism. Imagine I'm having a bad day. I'm around alcohol. I'm in a club with my missus. She's having a bad day. She picks up the bottle. Bruv, we all easily can flip it. But then you put yourself in a situation. You're chilling with drug dealers. Mm. You now ain't got food on the table. Mm. You got bills to pay. Mortgages, finances, your kids' bills, your nappies. You're with the drug dealer. You're seeing him. He's making beer change. You're like, yo, fuck it is what it is. So the same person that can pick up that bottle of alcohol to get away from that reality can now become a drug dealer pay for the food on the table no nah, i hear that i hear that so like are you saying so obviously some people may argue and i i don't agree with this but some people may argue you know it's hard it's hard to get opportunities out there and it's like a quick way easier way to kind of get out but there's the no hood. easy there's no easy way in drug dealing this is, this is, yeah. let me explain one thing to you when i'm talking um, we've been around people mm. everyone and uh, bruv let, let me explain one thing to you we've been around people we know people mm. i'm not gonna say who or what it is but bro yeah. let me explain one thing to you Right, I've been around the biggest and the baddest mm. till this day. They're all my good pals. Okay. I still don't agree with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is what it is. That's that's, that's their way that's of life, different. right? No, yeah, that's yeah, their yeah. way of life. But I can almost promise you right now, half of them are sitting in prison. Mm. The other half that got away with it, but they can't come back to this country. They can't come back to this country. And mm. I can almost promise you, I can almost promise you, bro. Right? I don't want to say who's uh, what his name is, right? But these brothers have gotten some mad beef. They let it off. Someone got really badly injured. Sitting in Pakistan. Okay. Bruv, his father passed away. Imagine that. All the money in the world. One of the biggest drug dealers in the country. Yeah, he can't even come back to see his father get buried. Mm. Now you tell me what good is having all that money in the world mm. if you can't even watch your last dying breath of your own father. Everyone says it's easy money. Okay, cool. Imagine you get nabbed today. What you earning on the wing? Bruv, I used to be on the wing cleaning the wings, bro. £12 a week. Not even an hour. £12 a week. So let's do the maths. You're getting £12 a week. What's that? 12, 24, £48 pounds a month. £48 pounds a month. Multiply that by 12. God knows what it works out. Roughly about £500. Pounds. You're getting £500 pounds a year. You could work in a BP petrol station today and get more than that. And make more than that drug dealer. You do four years, five years behind the door. Who's, who's better off? 
So it's mm. not easy money. It's not quick money. Mm. It's right here, right now money. Mm. Over the long run, you know that everyone say that, ah, you hear it in rap music. You made the deal with the devil. He gives you the money up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then your fucking soul's gone for the rest of your life. Same with drugs. It's an illusion. Yeah, you start selling drugs, you start making that money there and then. It's cash business, isn't it? You start getting there. But then you're in that trap. You're in that system. And then that's it. You're fucked for the long run. That's the same shit. You're selling yourself, you're selling your soul for the, you're selling yeah. your soul to the devil. That's how it is. Now, let me explain one thing to you. You're never going to become rich being a drug dealer. Never. It's, ne it's not possible. Bruv, you're in Birmingham. I know all the biggest drug dealers in Birmingham, bruv. They've got my phone calls, bruv. First name basis. They all know me. They're all my pals. I can almost promise you right here, right now, drug dealers don't make as much money as me. Mm. And this is not even me bragging. This is me trying to show you guys that, listen, I can almost promise you right here, right now, right? Drugs is not the way forward. And there's a big, big drug problem in Birmingham. Bruv, yeah. you think I don't know? Bruv, yeah. I used to be in Birmingham. Mm. Do you know how many times we've gone out on a night out Mm. And, and, and we see all the local lads, they come over to me, what's going on, G, I, I follow you, so on, so on, so on. I said, what you man doing? You man is chilling, rollies on and chains and that, right? Oh, we said, gone. All right, cool, isn't it? But how long is that going to last? But, but this is the thing, like, um, I agree with you, man. And I think, you know, you're a perfect, exa perfect example of someone that's making it, doing it. Like you said, you, I'm, I'm sure you, you'll go up differently. Um, so I want to talk about you, your background, how it all started for you. Because like you said, you know, uh, your dad was a taxi driver. So you growing up in a household like that, like where, when was it when you thought, you know what, I'm, I want to do something? So, so, gee, I've been, I've, I've see why I'm talking like this is because I've been there and done that, right? When okay. I'm talking like this, I've been behind the door. I've done four and a half years. I got done four and a half years. I've done two and a half behind the door, including my recall, yeah. right? Four, four, four selling drugs, right? When I was a young kid, I never used to go, I ain't got no education, right? Imagine this, right? I've got no school education, I've got no GCSE, I've got no university degree, I've got nothing. However, my house was right next to the university. So I used to go chill out with all my pals that used to be in university. Okay. And then I got put in that situation when people kept saying, ah, rah, where can we get? And obviously I moved from Luton to Northampton at a very young age, 16, 17 years old. Okay. Right? And I used to have two jobs. I used to work at BP Petrol Station. I used to do in the the flyers, the leaflets for Domino's Pizza. So what happened is, I wanted that lifestyle. Okay. I wanted that lifestyle from a very young age. I what wanted the, the cars, the, the money. Car, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to make my family financially free. I've seen my mum and dad work their asses off. My dad used to come home four, five o'clock in the morning. Probably everyone's got a father that's done taxis at one point in their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably imagine seeing your dad coming home every single day, four, five o'clock in the morning. Hands are throbbing, backs hurting, sitting around the car. My mum, she was sewing. Every single day, she's had four kids watching the kids while she's sewing, watching TV. Got my kids, my, uh, my brothers, my sisters running around, hands throbbing, feet hurting. You think I wanted that for my family? No chance. The minute I got old enough to earn some money, I went and got earned some money. And that's what I done straight away. And I didn't put that money in my pocket, helped it towards my family. How many of you lot can turn around and say today? I respect that. I respect that. How many of you lot can turn around and say today? How much is a draw? How much is a draw cost? I don't even know, bro. I don't even fuck. I don't know, weed. man. I'm not what, involved. What? Fifty quid? Twenty quid? Some Cali? Twenty. Twenty quid? Fuck it. You're getting some good Cali for twenty quid, bro. Bro, you'd rather spend twenty, thirty pound on some Cali than rather than going to your mum and say, "Mum, don't work today. Here's some money. Take a day off." But you want to sit there chilling with your bro, boys and stuff. Bro, forget that. You know what I've seen? So you just reminded me, yeah. I, I'm, I think you know this as well. So some people have got their mum shutting for them, bro. Gee. I'm not even going to go into that. I've heard this story as well. I've heard this story as well. But this is what I'm trying to say. Bro. I've heard about you, keeping you get, it within the fucking family, but that's taking a piss, bro. Fuck it, oh. Like, bro, even, you, 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 funny about keeping it within the family. So you see, you see my missus, yeah. right, my girl, she, that, that girl that walked that, like, like I said to you, like, she works it. Okay, okay. Why? Because I want her with me. Yeah. I want her to be a part of the journey. When you're working, it's a big part of your life. Yeah, it's a yeah. big part of my life. I do a lot of hours. Right? Last night, I was up to four in the morning, bang clock, nine o'clock in the morning, I was back at work. Mm. Tonight, look, we're going to finish up this podcast. I had another meeting, a Zoom call, 10.30. We cancelled it. We're going to move it forward. Most likely, if we can get this podcast done in a couple of hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could jump onto that because a lot of my people that I do business with are in different countries, America, Singapore, okay, right? Okay. So it's one of them ones. It works a big part of my life. Yeah. So I want my family. Okay. I've got my little brother. Yeah, He's yeah, my yeah. business partner. We do everything together. Mm. My missus, Mm. I'm not married. My girl, I keep saying missus because it's, it's respectable. I right? like it, yeah, yeah. She hears, works here. 
She handles all the people that work. We've got 30 staff members. Mm. I trust her more than I trust anyone else. My brother. So I keep it within the family in that sense as well. Because who can you trust more? Your friends? Which friends? If Did you're you 20, 30, 40 years old now, right? And this is the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look you in the camera. You're 30 years old, 40 years old, right? Remember those kids you grew up with? Remember those kids you went to school with? Remember all those pals that you got into beefs with over different postcodes, over girl, all that madness. You went into clubs, you're beefing with other mans. You got scars in your face. You got this, you got that. How many of those pals are yours? Are still with you today? Look around, look left. Look left, look right. Thinking, wow, where, where? Who have you got with you? Your family, your brother, your sister, your mum. So you have to understand, friends are good at the time. But bro, they're not good long term, innit? You need to move away from your friends. And I tell everyone this, so stay away from friends. Have one, two people with you that have been good with you from the beginning. Mm. I only have two, three people around me at all times. Every time you'll see me from now on, you'll only ever see me with my brother, my mate, and a couple of security guards. Brother, I walk, uh, brother, you know what? You know, it's funny, right? People think that, brother, I don't walk around with security. Oh, so you walk around with security? Brother, every, brother, obviously, we ain't got security here yeah. today, but mm. the brother outside, he can go outside. He can see the security guards sitting outside in the car. All right, uh, brother, yeah. like, uh, brother, I think people need to understand one thing. Like, no one's going to catch me slipping. And when they do, that's my own fault. Mm. I always want to be in a position that I've, I'm in control of my environment. Right? Even yesterday, we went to a couple of podcasts. I had my security guards with me. Brother, you lot seem to misunderstand one thing. But when you're sitting in front of me, not in a bad way, not in a trying to boost my ego way, but it's like you're fucking sitting in front. What's that cunt from Dragon's Den? I don't know where it is. It's like sitting smart. It's, sitting, it's like sitting yeah, in front of someone like from Dragon's Den. we got a dragon Den. in front of us, yeah. But because Jeez. you have to understand, but because I don't wear a suit, mm. because I talk the way I talk, I people don't understand that. that. Bruv, I'm worth just as much as these people. Mm. One of my companies the other day got valued at $25 million, and that's the company we don't give a fuck about. It's just there making money. We don't make it. It's just there. Like, oh, what? Is it made some money for us this month? Fuck it, oh. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, this office alone, this head, we've got four offices like this. I don't know why I've done three. I'm dyslexic. I can't fucking count, <laughs> right? But let me explain one thing to you. I've got four offices like this. You've seen downstairs, we've got a separate office. Yeah, we've got yeah, another yeah. office there as well. We've yeah, got yeah. four offices, other like this, that run, just run my business. We've got 30 staff members that work here. I don't know if you can spin the cameras right. For, the, for you guys, I'll probably put up a clip afterwards, but the, the, the offices like, are mad. This is, this is, this is, this is, but because I don't wear a suit and because yeah. I talk the way I talk and because of the way I look, everyone thinks I'm a drug dealer. Okay, yes, I used to do that when I was 16. Well, fucking everyone used to do dumb shit when they're 17, 18 years old. I'm tw what, how old am I now? 30? I'm going to say 30. I've been 30 for the last two years, but we're going to carry for the, for, for, for the purposes of this podcast, I'm still 30. And I will carry on being 30, right? I've done two and a half years behind the door, so that time just gone. That don't matter. So I'm 30. So I'm still 30. But let's just say I'm 32. But I've done a lot in my lifetime. I've done a, a hell of a lot. Anything and everything you can think of, I've done. I've been there. I've done it, right? But you not need to understand one thing as well. When I'm walking around security, it's not because of, I'm a fucking pussy, I'm scared, bruv. I was out the other day, bro. We was with fucking Aisha Speed. Do you know who the Aisha, yeah, you know yeah, Aisha yeah, Speed yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. But we took him American fucking yeah. Jaiwala, bro. Imagine taking Aisha Speed to Jaiwala. <laughs> the most up and up, like, like, like <laughs> bruv, I, it's, it's still to this day, I'm just like, bruv, I don't even understand this. Aisha Speed, the biggest YouTuber in the world right now. Yeah, it's yeah. massive. Yeah. We took him to Jaiwala, drinking tea with him. Then we we not fuck it. We took him shisha. We took him, we took him shisha. And, and, the first and, time you've ever smoked shisha was sitting there next to me and we're sitting there just chatting shit. But this is what I'm trying to say. She's not all that bad. Yeah. It's all right. It's, it's just... That, socially with a man's, you get me? And, you know, certain shisha lounges are all right. I agree with that, man. Like, there's one in Birmingham called Ladonna. It's, it's very much casual, chilled out. You know, you got the, the, the elder crowd. You get me? So, you know, environments are like that. Are, 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 but then you got some there very loud, you know. Look, nine times out of ten, bro. Maybe not you, but you're... You know, like, man's are out there to look at girl, grab girl, you know, chirps girl. And imagine your missus sitting there, someone's approaching your missus, bro. I'm going to lose my shit. But so gee, why would I want to put myself that's, in that situation? That's, but that's I'm exactly my it. Shit. Okay, that's cool. You know what I'm but saying? that's the same as a work environment. That's the same as no, you. But work's no, work's no, working. No, 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 but look, look. That's, I understand what you're saying. Fully 100% respect what you're saying. If someone try to move to my girl, it's yeah, on site. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. But gee... You need to stop putting yourself in that situation where you're putting them there. However, however, you can have that situation anywhere. No, you're not I with agree, her at work. I agree. She yeah. could be sitting there yeah. with her colleagues. Yeah. Do you know how many, I can't even mention, right? Do you know how many girls and boys we've had working for us, right? That have ended up getting into relationships. Okay. At work. You're okay. at work 
a lot of the time of your Doesn't day. Doesn't that cause domestics in the workplace? It causes so? issues. We put fucking, we can't say nothing to them. A lot of them are the youngsters. Can you put like, you know, we can't some, say nothing. We can't say nothing. We ain't trying to dictate, <laughs> we ain't trying to dictate who can fucking, who can't fucking. Yeah, yeah. If they want to fuck, they can do what they want. Just don't do it in the premises, isn't it? Just don't do it on any more cars. I don't even want to think about it. affect work. Right? But what I'm trying to say is you're sitting at work with your colleague, they're sitting next to you. Mm. You're spending 12 hours, eight hours, 10 hours a day with them. Mm. You get that kind of bond. You're spending more times with your colleagues than you are with your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, your husband. Even your family, yeah. 100%. Mm. So sometimes it's going to happen, mm. but you can't turn around and say, well, you can't go work now mm. because, you know, you might end up fucking your colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same way you turn around and say, well, imagine I spend 10 <laughs> minutes in a fucking shisha place and some guy rolls up to me. Okay, yeah, someone's going to try it, but yeah, if, yeah, someone's someone's gonna, if someone's thinking with a dick, bro, we ain't looking at fucking, yeah, whether we're going to fuck him in the my, fucking office or we're going to fuck him in the shisha. I'm not going to put myself in a situation where my missus, like, look, work, work, we all got to work in it. So, bro, you, know, you go shopping. But I wouldn't let my Mrs. Work Have you been to Bullring? Yeah, it's a Mazza. There you go. It's a Mazza. So what? But, you're not supposed to go shopping no more. But I'm still more in control of the situation. Do you get me? Like, go, I'm not gonna stop myself living my life. Maybe that's your argument as well. You're, you I'm, need you're to not grab her stop. tight, then, right? She, listen, you ain't going nowhere. Head lock listen, head. Put in a headlock. <laughs> put in a headlock. So you see, you ain't going nowhere. And anyone come, just pull out the strap. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk around with a flicky, be like, yo, anyone come there, my girl, you're all gonna get it. You've, have, you've, you've, you know, I'm sure you've got a big net worth. Um, Alhamdulillah, you know what it is? We're doing well, right? Like mm. I said, we was given it by mm. God. No, we didn't, yeah, we earned it, we put in the time, this and that. But brother, it's, it's, nah, it's like risk. That. That. We've, we've been, have the opportunity to be able to give it. Whether I deserve it or not, that's a different situation. I personally don't think I deserve this world. I personally don't think so. Right, because there's a lot more people that are a lot more better than me in the sense of very uh, that are on their dean and, and I understand all of that. But you know what it is? It's it's hard to explain, man. It's hard to explain. Once you come to that barrier of you know what, fuck. Like the other day, we was talking about buying some madness. I'm, I'm not gonna say what it was, but like these are things when I was 17, 18, 19 years old, I would have never have thought, bro, how can yeah, we spend yeah, yeah. a million on just? You just you it's a it. madder. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty mad when you think about it. But now it's the norm. Like, if we, if we can have a, we could be sitting in a sauna, we could be sitting in a session today, like, and we could be like, listen, what do you reckon? We could see something and be like, oh, I want that. And, and does that make sense? So you're when, purchasing something for a mill, yeah? For you, that's not, you're not going to look at that and be like, whoa, like. No, no, it's going to hurt the pocket regardless, but it's not going to be like, fuck, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, gee, yeah. you have to understand this. It's, now we're on a different level. Whereas mm. 10 years, I couldn't look at something like that. 15 years ago, I couldn't look at something like that. I'd have trouble <laughs> looking at something for a bag. But up until, you know, up until recently, you've probably seen it on my socials. Everyone keeps commenting. Like, but now you're wearing designers. Bruv, allow me, bruv. The other day, I must have went into Louis Vuitton and, and, and spent about 10 racks. And I'm, I'm wearing my, like, bruv, I don't do that. I don't like spending clothes yeah, on, yeah, yeah. I spend money on. I wear, look, even right now, I'm wearing a 10 pound t-shirt, mm. right? Mm. And I'm wearing, I don't even know what, next jeans away. But th that day we thought, you know what, my missus and me, she's like, you know what, just treat yourself, just go buy some nice clothes. And I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do it. Right, it is what it is, isn't it? And now people are like, bro, you're wearing design clothes now. I've noticed that. So, bro, what are you fucking worried about me for? Worry about yourself, innit? If I want to treat myself, don't worry yeah, about me. Do your thing, man. I've worked long and hard enough to do what I want. However, however, and this is one topic that I want to talk about, okay. right? I have worked long and hard enough to want to earn. Uh, sorry, I have worked long and hard enough to want to buy, in, indulge in my um, toys yeah. in the sense of mm. I love my cars, I love my watches. Yeah, I can't wear them. Not in the UK. Where you got it now? Uh, right now, the only reason I've got this right now, <laughs> only reason I've got this on because we was doing a music yeah, yeah, video yeah. here yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like and it was like just there and I thought, I'd bring it out. But bruv, even this, I had mm. to literally let my bank know. I'm coming down tomorrow. I need to take you out of the safety deposit box. Okay, okay. And I've only got like one watch around me in the UK. Mm. Mm. Two. <laughs> Don't want to talk about the Patek. But that's the new purchase. <laughs> Love you, Patek, man. They invited me to come down to be part of their family. It's a big thing because the Queen wears Patek. But let me give you an example. You can't wear nice things in the UK. You can't no, drive nice that. cars. And now why the fuck should I have to sit here and pussyfoot around Cunts that want to, like, brother, I took my car the other day to the fucking, to the cinema. I've come back, there's fucking gob marks all over the fucking roof. People are spitting on it. Probably you don't even know me. You don't even know, bro, probably thought, yeah, some snobby cunt. The other day, you see on, on, on all over Instagram, people are chasing man's, taking their watches straight off their wrists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what Birmingham's like, but in London, it's I don't bad. Ams was telling me, um, you know, uh, Yanni, he recently made a video. About oh, when himself. that thing happened. Like, so if you guys don't know, Yanni is a good friend of mine, right? 
So we've been friends for about 10 years now, long time. And when that thing happened, I was one of the people that knew about it. And it was a, it was a horrible time. I can imagine. It was a horrible like- time. RM off his wrist. Uh, sorry. They tried getting his arm. They didn't get their arm. Yeah. Right? So fuck you, you cans. <laughs> right? <laughs> Better luck next time. Right? No, but there is not going to be a next time because he's more clued up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. let me give you an example. It's a bad, bad place right now in London. He got his watch. Uh, sorry, he got his house robbed looking for the RM. And bro, it's, it's, it's eye opener because you have to understand anyone can get got. You can get got. I can get got. But I'm trying to limit my chances of slipping up and getting caught slipping. Does that make sense? That's why I roll with security. Right? How I see it is, what's, what's security going to cost me? £500, £1,000 a day? I've got a separate car. I've got plenty of cars. I've got fucking 30 fucking cars. Give me one of my Range Rovers. I said, just drive around, make sure no one fucks with me. But my security guards, when we walk into places in London, but they walk in. Yeah, where's the nearest exit? All right, cool. What seat are we putting them in? They'll have a quick glance around, make sure everyone's cool. Anyone looks suspicious, we won't go in there. I'm not going to put myself in that situation. I don't need to. Why are you going to put your face in a situation where it's going to be, there's going to be no good coming from it? Mm. That's like you walking into a fucking MMA match with fucking Habib and expecting not to get your face smashed in. You're <laughs> nah, putting nah, yourself in a situation yeah, yeah, where yeah. you know you're going to get your face smashed in. But Mark, okay, I want to I wanna mention um, is, okay, so look, you're a, you know, as Balkan guy, you like to say how it is. You, you're not scared of anyone, yeah? But you know how, you, like I've looked, I'm a crumb across your Instagram. I ain't going to lie. Nine times out of 10, I'm cracking up, bro. Like your jokes online, yeah? But then obviously you're not scared of confrontation. You're calling people out. And I agree with like that, um, you know, the scammers and all that. Like, but gee, you, you know what? You know what? Yeah? Bro, look, look, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you picked up on this, right? And now, uh, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, right? Is it against our religion? Because I met a brother the other day, Zed, big up Zed. And he's, he, he used to be about it back in the days. Now he's, alhamdulillah, he's, he's, gone, he's gone the right path. Mm. And he goes to me, he goes, gee, what you're doing is, there's nothing wrong with it. And I was mm. like, are you sure? Because a lot of people are giving me a lot of hate for, but why are you calling out these scammers? And, nah. and, 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 and he goes to me, he goes, in Islam, I don't know if he's right or wrong, okay. or whether he was mistaken or not, but he was told by someone that, look, in Islam, if you know someone that has done wrong to you, it's your duty as a man to tell the other person so they don't get scammed by that person. Mm. So is that correct or am I, am I hearing this? So look, we're, we're not scholars, so, but it, it, it In the comment right, section, if, if, if someone yeah. knows, I beg you just put, because you know, because I've stopped doing this now, right? Because you know what is, I've got too much time in the hands. I've got too much... I've not got too much time on my hands. Yeah, However, yeah. I find it entertaining, <laughs> right? I get bored in it. I get bored very easily, right? I find it entertaining. And then I don't, I don't like the fact that, so, yeah, some people do like it. Some people hate it. But obviously everyone loves confrontation. It's a bit of entertainment. But social media to me is just entertainment. It's just a joke. It's a playground to you, isn't it? Brother, you'll see me on TikTok lives, bro. Which fucking multi-millionaire do you know that'll be sitting on TikTok lives? I'll be playing, brother, I was, brother, I'm a big Fortnite gamer. Okay. I love Fortnite. I'll be sitting there fucking chatting shit to 17, 18 year old kids <laughs> in the fucking other side of the world. You little bastard, you fucking cunt. Like, brother, it's entertainment for me. No, brother, I, I, got, I, I agree with calling scammers out because look, if you know my man's doing people dirty and he's scamming these little kids out of their life savings. We're not going to talk about who because we're not yeah? going to give no one clap. We're not going to say no names. We're not going to, like you said, we're not going to give anyone clap. But, you know, calling, if I know someone's doing someone dirty, I think it is my right to kind of say, like, especially yeah, it's your job. And, and, and you know what it is, people, there's, there's no opna out there that's, that's like me. Unfortunately, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's not many of us, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And now I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe one less of me is even better. But what I'm trying to say is there should be people out there that are not afraid. But I'm not afraid of no one except, yeah? So why should I have to pussyfoot around fucking these little clowns that go on the internet and start scamming little kids? And I'm mm. seeing it in my own groups. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. five, six kids. Oh, fucking hell. I got sucked five bills. I got sucked a bag. And I just gotta sit there and just think, you know, I gotta keep quiet because the internet might turn around and say, "Brother, oh yeah, you just hating on man." But what's it fucking hate, bro? What's it fucking hate? I'm the real deal. We've been doing this for a long time. Alhamdulillah, we've been blessed many times over, right? But it's my duty as a man. If I know someone's been done wrong, and they're going to fall for it by someone else, I should step up and turn around and say, "Listen." But you should stay away from him, you know. But we've been in so many meetings in the past, right? And now, if you don't understand what a meeting is, right? So if there's something that goes wrong, and um, you want to call, up, set up a meeting. Not one of those office meetings. We're talking about a meeting meeting. Then we'll sit on the table, whether it's in a cafe or a restaurant, and we'll have some parties turn up, and we'll sit down, sort out situations, right? Okay, Whatever okay. the situation is. And 
I've been in many meetings in, in, throughout my whole life, right? I'm, I'm not talking like a gangster. I'm just talking as a, a person that hangs around and bees around a lot of these people that get into lot of situations where there's people owing money or drugs getting missing. Or, it, I just sit it, there and I'm yeah. looking at them. I, I find that interesting. Okay. I find that interesting. I try to steering them the right direction. People don't want to listen. Fair play, but man. It happens. And if someone's sitting at that meeting, a couple of, I'm not going to mention who, right? Like someone was sitting at that meeting and they've turned around and said, well, why did you give him that in the first place when you know he's a fucking wrong and, 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 and he does this for a living? He robs money, he does this and that. It was your dumb mistake for giving it. Yeah, yeah. He turned around and said, no one fucking told me. Mm. As far as I'm fucking ringing, everyone said, yeah, but the geezer's hella fucking 100, bro. He's blessed, bro. Give him whatever you want. Give him as much as you want. Now he's sitting there two, three hundred bags down. But like, fucking, I don't understand this. This, I don't know in it. But it is whatever. Listen, what everyone's good. hustle is. You look, it's good for you. Like, you yeah, need to justify it to me in it. Just one day I'll catch up with you because fast money don't last long in it. So you know, mashallah, you're you're doing very well for yourself. Yeah. That's so right. let's just get straight to it, bro. How have you made your money? How have I made my money investing? Yeah. So investing. are we talking before anything popped off for you? Yeah, I'm talking about back in the day when, like you said, your dad's doing taxis. You've started a couple of jobs to put food on the table for your family. But when did it? When's your first breakthrough? Because, bro, I'm sitting here now. I'm just looking at your office. Yeah, I've had a peek at your cars, bro. Check it out. And I'm thinking, mashallah, you know, this guy's doing well. When did it kind of kick just, off for you, man? Just one of these computers costs like five, ten bags each. Nah, bro, I'm, about 30, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a, a thing for the office. Like I'm sitting in this office and I'm thinking, you know, and and to do what you're doing now, again, you know, even this business, what you're uh, doing now, bro, that that's gotta take some balls to do. Do you get what I'm saying? But before before you could even do this, bro, I know you've done certain things in your life where you've managed to kind of set yourself up for this. What, right, what, when did so, it? When did it? Kind of so, I'm gonna give you the hope. You know what? Because I've heard. You know, it's when people don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They lie. They okay. assume. And one of the most common ones is bounce backs, bounce backs, BBM, BBM loans, BBM loans. Not BBM. What the fuck? BBM is B- fucking uh, bomb injections, not bomb injections. <laughs> BBL loans. Yeah. yeah. So probably let me explain one thing to you. Everything's. You can just Google everything. What well, people have accused you from? Uh, these? People talk shit. Ah, he's a drug dealer. He's a BBM loan. He's a fraud. He's this and that. I think to myself, scratching myself, the rise. This is what it is. But I understand where it can come from because okay. of the way I talk, because okay. of the way I look, because I've got scars on my face, because I've got. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But you have to understand one thing. When people don't know, they make up shit. Okay. If I never told you and I never showed you right now in mm. my offices mm. what I do. Would you not still think that, you know what, this guy's a road man, this man's on roads, this man's selling cum, 100%. You say that because, you know... Bro, you don't even realise I'm the biggest fucking nerd out there. <laughs> but this is what I mean. But this is what I mean. Social media will get you fucked up. Don't believe everything on the internet. And like I said, bro, the other day, yesterday, I was sitting at my uncle's mansion. Bro, we're talking a big mansion. We're talking where the Queen Elizabeth mother used to live. A fucking 40 acre. We got a fucking lake in that back garden. <laughs> And see me, man's taking a shit in where the queen mother used to take a shit. And I'm walking around, I've got Lambo's fries around me. And what, did you see that video? You see that video? And I'm, I'm walking with my goats. Man's got fucking goats, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't take the internet too serious. The internet is just there for fun. Mm. When I want to take it serious, you guys will know about it. Because you'll see me everywhere. Does that make sense? When I take it serious, you guys are going to know about it. Because I'll make sure my face is everywhere. So click off your fingers and it's done. It's not a problem. Let me give you an example. I want to start showing my face today. In the last 24 hours, we've done three podcasts. We've got a meeting with... Uh, I can't say who. We've got another meeting. We've got two podcasts with the biggest podcasts in the UK. We've got another one in a week's time. If I want to put my face out there, yeah, I can yeah, put yeah. my face out there. And the reason mm-hmm. I do want to put my face out there is because of Paradox. We're launching Paradox. We're going to go into Paradox in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is people that don't know, they assume. And assume wrong now i get that I get but that i'm gonna give you a breakdown so when i was younger yes i done stupid things like everyone does mm. everyone makes mistakes let me give you an example i had an expo we had about two three hundred young kids majority from up near Pakistani kids we had guys travel down from manchester bradford birmingham everywhere we had some guys fly out just to hear me talk okay about my companies and that my dad was sitting in the back okay I didn't even know this. I just look over the right there and say, shit, I need to be careful how I'm swearing. Imagine when I was younger and all the dumb shit I used to do when I was younger. Did you think, did I think, did he think at that time 
that my son's going to be sitting there worth so and so and so and so, looking after the whole family, going to be worth so and so, doing well in front of two, three hundred people sitting there, all sitting there listening, learning, getting out with everybody like this. Today he's proud. Back then he was, th- th- back then he must have thought, fuck, you know, this kid's going to end up being, you know what I mean? You can always turn it around. Okay. And me, I did do dumb shit when I was younger. I learn from my mistakes and that's the difference between me and everyone else. Once I've made the same mistake once, I will never make it twice. Hmm. I've done that whole drugs thing, selling. I was, I was, we had no family to nice. So it makes sense. No family is only a little, little town, bro. It's pretty big, but I think it's the biggest town without actually being a city in the Europe. Someone confirm that, please. But we had it nice. But what happened? I got caught, went to prison. What good did that come to me? Nothing. No good come from it. My brother was sitting there. He was young. Okay. My mum, dad, they used to come see me. Prison visits, crying. It's not a nice thing, bro. But I learned from that mistake. He never sold. Never touched drugs again in my whole life. I respect that. Bro. Never in my whole life. Come outside, started a taxi company. That taxi company done very well. I didn't say it, mention it on Raheem's podcast. But we ended up selling that company because we developed an app that could track the drivers. We sold it for a good amount, half a bar. Was it half a bar? We done. Wait, we done. So well. How long ago are we talking now? So how we're talking. We? 2011 was it? 2010, 2011. When okay. I come out of prison, okay. set it up. Didn't take me long. Got it busy. Sold it. We didn't even find that up until a couple of years ago. The actual company that actually bought it was actually Uber. <laughs> Imagine that. So they bought a shell company that bought out all the majority of the companies within. Because any company that had any sort of tracking system for 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 their drivers. They want buyouts. That's why I was paying stupid amounts of money. So that was one of the first things I ever done. Um, yeah, that was good, man. But then Wait, obviously... So doesn't that eat you up now thinking... Right, nah, right, nah, right. nah, nah. It is what it is. It is what it yeah. is. I don't look back and think, fucking, I should have done this, I should have done that. Never. Never sorrow on your past. Because let me explain one Fair thing. Man, you're going to sit back looking back. Because there's a reason why everyone's... When you're driving, the driver's looking forward. He's never looking behind him. Otherwise, you're going to have a fucking accident. Right? Just look forward. Forget about what's happening in the back. That's done. It's dusted. Mm. Don't worry about it. So... It is what it is. We got paid nice. But then obviously I had this whole situation with proceeds of crime. Feds come after me. Oh, Once shit. you get released from prison, they don't stop there. They're just on your case. They're on you. They want money off you. So all the money I made from there, give back to them. Does that make sense? Because they just, they can make up a random figure and say, you know what? You made so and so and so and so and so. You've been doing it for so and so. I could have been doing it for three days, got caught on the third day and literally have all the proof in the world making me like nah we think you've been doing it for three years we oh, reckon man. you've been making a grand a day for three years okay. now you owe us this amount of money to either pay it or do another two years behind the door bro I ain't paying shit that was my mindset then when they said you have to do another two and a half years behind the door I was like nah you know what take my money I pay it take yeah, it yeah. paid it there and then do what you're doing left out of that so now I'm broke so you're back to square back one to square zero. one yeah then I'll start getting job okay Getting legit jobs. And, and the funniest one was, right? Imagine this. Imagine me at my big old age, right? 21, something like that. I'm doing taxis. Uh, not taxis. Deliveries. Delivery driving. Okay. Delivering takeaways. Imagine delivering takeaways at Bricksworth Tandoori. Everyone can go Google it. Ring them up. Confirm it. Bricksworth Tandoori. Did you have Amir Italia working for you when you were there? Bro, I didn't even have a fucking license, bro. We was busting chases in fucking micros, bro. <laughs> Imagine them ones. Remember them ones, bro? I was coming home. Parking up the car, chucking the keys in the bush, running up the stairs and going straight out the fucking back window. Bruv, it used to be mad because my back window used to lead to the back garages and I used to slurp. But every single day, the bruv was doing deliveries, right? And it was just whatever I can do to get money. Okay. Then we started making a bit more money, saving up a bit of money and investing it, investing it in this company, that company, this company. It was small amounts, a grand, five grand, three okay. grand. People, like, But stuff that I knew that in the future is going to change the future. Okay. Right? Um, one of the biggest one was uh, I invested in a franchise, a takeaway. Which I'm not going to mention what I can't mention it. Okay, right? okay. I am till this day a majority holder of this franchise, and this is probably one of the biggest franchises in the UK. <laughs> no one even knows this. You probably what about at, what am I saying? Huh? You won't be able to because I won't say it. Okay. You put it this way: you have probably so your viewers are probably at from this takeaway, right? Takeaway rap franchise. Okay. And you probably don't even, I'm not going to mention nothing, okay, okay. right? And you probably don't even realize I'm actually a majority whole, a shareholder of that business because when they started off, mm. they had no money. They just had a dream. But bro, when I looked at those guys, I see them guys and I saw myself in them guys and I thought these are like fucking hustlers, bro. They will do anything and everything to make their business success. Let me give you an example, right? And, and while we're on the takeaway situation, Just Eats. Just yeah, Eats, yeah. Was, is it Just Eats? Just Eats. The delivery app. Yeah. Just, just Eats. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was in a takeaway in Luton. Years ago, 
when they was just starting off and there was this geezer wearing a suit. He's gone to every single takeaway. If you guys own takeaways, you know that guy used to come around and say, look, we'll set up your, we'll set up this machine in your, in your takeaway yeah. and you're going to get this. But there was a guy in the suit. I didn't even find out till later. That was one of their relatives. These, we're talking, bill, they're billionaires now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're billionaires money. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of their relatives. That was one of the main guys now. Today's the main guy. But imagine them days. He was going to every single fucking takeaway up and down the country. Luton, Bradford, Birmingham. Putting in the work. Putting in the work. But this is what I'm trying to say. People always see the end result. They never see the hustle. Mm. They never see the hustle. But you have to understand, you have to, you have to take risks. 50% of the businesses I've invested in, gone tits up, I've lost money, mm. big money. I'm not talking like 5, 10, 50 grand. But I've got businesses that I've invested in, which have lost 250 grand, 300 grand, 400 grand. It happens. You can't sit there and sorrow by it. It is what it is. Sometimes you just cut your losses and move over. But it's a numbers game. The yeah, more okay. businesses you have, all it takes is one or two businesses to be successful. That was a good business. That's a success. Up until now, I still get fucking royalties. If you could that. put a number on the amount of businesses that you... I were... reckon I'm 30, 30, 20, 25. What were we, 25? 20, we're in good numbers. Nothing. So, so you're But we're in... silent investors. Okay, we, okay. in the sense, we're all I need to see some of these people that work here. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you can get up some of the... the um, the excels, but bro, there's some of their jobs is just tracking how much money that's coming in every single month. I'll be honest, I'll be straight with you. We've hired people just to make sure that they're paying every single month. But it comes to a point where it's very hard to manage. What you, I you, would you say? Would you say you're on silly money, bro? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I can quit today, and me, and my brother, my family, we can live happily ever after for a very long time. But bro, I'm ask- not going to. This is one thing people need to understand. If I wanted to stop, I could stop my tenth business or my fifth business. Right? We've done everything. We've done even that car hiring stuff. We've done everything. We've done everything. Anything you can name it, we've done it. Right? And what I'm trying to say is, if I stopped at my first business or my second business, Alhamdulillah, some of them are very successful, some are very bad. I still wouldn't be at this situation now. Now, what I've got planned for the next five years, okay. I'm going to look back at these days and that was chump change. That's fucking chump change. That's what I want to talk to you about. Because obviously, look, you, you're a made guy. You've got like over 27 businesses that you invested in. You're doing your thing. Now, you've set a set of paradox. Now, paradox for... You, do you want to talk a little bit about paradox? Paradox is four businesses in one. That's just four of the businesses yeah. in one. So paradox is a, is a company that... Um, we're a gaming studio. Uh, we've got paradox events. So that's the YouTubers boxing. Um, we've got paradox launchpad. And we've got paradox ventures. Paradox ventures is a company that specifically invests in... Web three, Web three is basically crypto, anything crypto related, any sort blockchain of project. So we, and we and blockchain and yeah. stuff like that. So we invest in new startups. So okay. fintechs are where I've made a lot of money, right? So we've invested in a lot of fintech companies, a lot, a lot of software companies. Because you have to understand, if it takes me an hour to do a job, and I can get it done in fifteen minutes, as a business, I've just saved you forty five, yeah. forty five minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, and time is money in business. So I developed some softwares. Well, I haven't physically. I'm a spastic. I don't know shit, right? We've got some very smart people that do work for me that have designed this stuff, right? And, and we developed some softwares that could save people time. And to businesses, that's, that means a lot more than actually yeah, paying. So we just small, charge small, small <laughs> amounts and we make a lot of money from it because they're big businesses, right? Yeah. So you have to understand, when we invest in big companies, especially fintech, there's silly money in it. Silly money in it. Fintech, yeah. Let me explain one thing. If you start up a, if a, 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 a software company or, or a crypto project, for instance, uh, anything blockchain related where you can help blockchain, cryptocurrencies yeah. and stuff like that, you're nine times out of ten not going to have the money there because it costs a lot of money. It costs a hell of a lot of money, right? So you go out to venture capitalists. Venture capitalists are companies that invest seed round investors. So they invest in the company and take a majority of the share. And then they can dictate what your company can and can't do. It's like having a silent partner yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah, throw money at you and say, bro, yeah, do yeah, what yeah. you're doing. When it blows, send me your money this way. Right? Mm. So Paradox Gaming Studio is one that I'm passionate about. Okay. This is the only business that you will ever see that I have put on social media. Okay. Because it's a passion, it's a passion business. Right? It's come to a stage right now where I want to enjoy life. And enjoy my work. Fair Bro, let me explain one thing. You see that sofa there? Mm. I've slept more times on that sofa than I have in my home bed. <laughs> work's not easy and work's long. Anyone that sits there on a laptop saying, bruv, you can work an hour a day and make this. Bruv, it's all bullshit. I slept here more. Than, bruv, everyone's gone home. I'm still working. This is work. Have as you far guys, as I'm concerned, this is still work. Have you guys but launched yet? We're not launching okay. until... Uh, what's the dates? I don't even know the dates. Seventh, we are launching the public round, and I'm gonna explain about it. Then I'll explain that. So, Paradox Studios is a we're, we're a gaming company. 
So we've done something that not a lot of people have been able to do in the UK. So we've launched a cryptocurrency in the UK, a pretty big one, because we're getting listed on the biggest exchanges in the world. Hobby Exchange, fourth biggest exchange in the world. Uh, Bitmore, Bybit, uh, L Bank, some of the biggest exchanges in the world. Okay, it's not easy to get listed on these build, uh, on these exchanges because it costs a lot of money. First of all, we're talking half a million just a listing fee, half a million dollars just a listing fee. Then you got to give a security deposit, another half a million just there, two hundred fifty thousand, depending on whether it's a big exchange or small exchange. Then you got to give market makers. Market makers are the liquidity providers. You got to give another half a million, depending on how. You know what I mean? How big the exchange is. You've got four or five businesses, four or five listings on four or five biggest exchanges. Well, you're looking close to $10 million. What? Well, I'm not going to go out there and go borrow money from people to go put in it. Mm. I'm my own. Paradox Ventures is my own company. So I pay for everything myself. So it's one of them ones. Doing something that you're passionate about, you're going to do it 10 times better than stuff you're not passionate about. 100%. You have to be obsessed that, with yeah. your work. Mm. I'm obsessed with it. Everywhere you're looking right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. in this office, is Paradox, Paradox, Paradox. I was going to wear a Paradox t-shirt, but mm. I thought I'd look kind of one for you lot. Right, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say is, that's a business I'm passionate about. It's a cryptocurrency. Go- and I love gaming, right? I'm very passionate about gaming. I'm very competitive. Everything I do, I'm very competitive. Mm. We've, uh, we've built everything from the ground up in the sense of we've got smart contract developers we've got back-end developers front developers we've got fucking web 2 marketing we've got web 3 marketing we've got everything marketing teams in-house we've got marketing agency paradox paradox marketing agency we've got so everything's done in-house because how i see it is rather than giving money outside and hire a company to do all of our work for us i can just set up a company hire the team and just steer it in the right mo in the in the right uh, um, in the right direction, and get everything done in house. But you know, you say you saying that like it's so easy. But I I know, bro. Setting up something like this must have you know you got to know what you're doing. You're 100. Yeah. Now, like I remember even on uh, Twitter, Sanji you posted a clip where someone was basically kind of judging you in a way from the way you spoke. Sp- uh, spoke, you know, comparing you to like Andrew Tate, and you kind of shut that guy down. You know, what but I mean? that geezer like, was. Do you know? Do you know who that geezer was? That geezer was probably worth about twenty, thirty bars, uh, millions. Yeah. I keep saying bars, <laughs> twenty, thirty million dollars. That guy was worth, and you see how I shut him down. Yeah, but yeah. I don't care, don't care. It does not matter who you are, how you speak. If you don't show me no respect, oh, brother, I show everyone respect. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. come across as an arrogant cunt, but gee, I have to. <laughs> Because you have to understand, as far as I'm thinking, I'm a paranoid guy. I think everyone's trying to take something from me. Really? Everyone's trying to take it all away from me. I work too hard to let any motherfucker take anything from me. So I'd rather come across as an arrogant cunt on the internet where people think, you know what, don't fuck with him because he's just a cunt. Bruv, I show everyone the utmost respect. Anyone that actually knows me will show you, brother, this is a lovely brother. And bruv, it's one of them ones. That guy was talking shit, talking about, bruv, oh, this guy sounds like a fucking Andrew Tate. And I said, bruv, listen, what are you talking about? But don't talk to us like we're dickheads, bro. Just because we ain't got a suit on and just because we talk the way we talk mm. doesn't mean we're dickheads out here. Mm. You can say this shit on the internet, bro. I can promise you, we'll never say this thing to my face. You just get a one bank. Mm. And we're on site, bro. I've had so many mad fights. But there and then, I just have it. There and I don't care what I'm worth, what I'm not worth. But I just take my watch off, put this in my pocket. But next time, I'm gonna, next time, this, this, is, this is it. If I ever get into a fight with you and I get into an argument with you, I'll literally just, just wait for, till I put my, take my watch off Right, and I'll just slip it in my pocket. That's just just know it's on site. That's it done. Right, is it? That's it. Do you know what it is? I I execute. Okay. This is one thing I've always been good at, and and it shows in this situation as well. When I get into fights or whatever, right? I never let no one talk shit to me. Simple as that. And what I do is in my head, there and then, I've already made that decision. I'm gonna punch him in his mouth. <laughs> It's as simple as that. And yeah. that's me going ahead with my execution. I've planned it in my head. Okay, this guy's talking shit. Right, and I'm gonna now gonna execute. So I've already said I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do, which was gonna be punching him in his mouth. And before guys even finish this conversation, damn, <laughs> bang, he's like, that class is done. And now I'll go gym. Now it's not even two punches; it's just a one punch, bro. <laughs> but this is what it is. So the guy was chatting shit, and I'm like, bro, don't listen to what you think that someone should sound like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. should not be sounding like me and be as rich as me. I can assure you that much right now. But, that's what I was but it say. is, everyone's on their own journey. Everyone is not going to be the same as everyone else. Yeah, yeah. I find it a compliment when people say, Bob, you sound like Andrew Tate. Bob, that man's a G. Yeah, He's yeah. got all the cars in the world. He's the most famous person in the world. He says it how it is. He can have it out with anyone. Mm. All the bitches in the world. He mm. can literally roll up in so many DMs. Of, Yo, come yeah, link, yeah. man. 
and just send the car out. Send I don't care. I'm raw. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Okay. Like, so, you know, like, as you can tell people, you know, the guy just says how it is. Yeah. He don't, he don't really care what you think, what anyone thinks, as long as he's true to himself. And that, some people could take that the wrong way. Some people like that. Some people hate it. Now, if you're in the Web 3.0 world, now, just like you said, you know, these guys are all suited, booted, nerds, all this, that, and the other. Have you found it hard to navigate through this industry being who you are? Custom sale, I'm not even joking. I'm not going to just say this now, right? I have meetings. I have, do you know, you see my streaming desk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have six, seven meetings. I've got two desks. I've got one there that I'll be actually doing my normal work with. Yeah, yeah. And one where I'll be Zoom calls with. Okay, okay. We have seven, eight Zoom calls a day with big, big people. Big, big people. And I swear, I've not till this day, someone turned around and said, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this geezer? Or just turn around and say, you know what? We don't want a game. But people rather, when I'm doing business with the person in front of me, I'd rather he be who he is yeah, and yeah, be yeah, the yeah. guy that says he's going to say something or do something and actually go ahead and do it. Yeah. I'd rather you be straight up and say, bruv, I'm a little bit fucked up, but I'm going to do this and I'm going to say this. I'm going to get my work done. And I'm, bruv, people want to know when you're going into business with someone, mm. you're going to get what you're going to get. Mm. I ain't got time to start looking left and looking right and looking at fucking riddles and bruv, this guy's going to end up fucking me six months down the line. Or the, but people are now paying for um, security, right? That's what it is. People just want to know that, you know what, when I go into business with this guy or when I work for this guy, whatever it is, that I can trust you. Mm. Trust is something that can take years and years to earn, but can go like that within seconds. Bang you can do yeah, one yeah. bad thing, have one bad judgment and think, you know what, fuck it. We got rid of someone the other day. But I don't know what he was stealing. What was he stealing? He, was, he stole a speaker. Sp what, here? Speaker. So what the fuck are you doing? I have all the things over here. Brother, of all the things, you stole a, <laughs> stole a speaker. He was a fucking apprentice. We've done it for the fucking college down the road. He said, please, we need, because obviously we've we got, we got nearly 60 something employees now. Yeah, so yeah, so we, 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 we reach out to these colleges and, and yeah. universities and say, look, if you want apprentices, you send them through. Well, it's a good environment. So we, we try doing this whole Google environment. So, but the kids come here, fucking stole a fucking speaker. <laughs> And I'm thinking, what's wrong with this fucking kid? Like, bruv, you had the best opportunity of your life to make something. Bruv, yeah, you're yeah, around yeah. serious people. Mm. I'm me. I like walking when I'm working. I'll be on my phone talking up and down, up and down, up and down. You're seeing firsthand how multiple businesses are run. Okay. And he gave it up for a fucking pair of speakers. Probably they were probably worth about 50 fucking quid. Yeah, but sounds... this is what it is. People want money there and then. They don't mm. think of the long run. People that have worked for me have gone on. Learned so much shit from me, started their own shit, and now I've been successful. And I'm seeing him on Instagram, and like, yeah, that's my guy, you know. I taught him everything he knows. And, and you like that, innit? Of course you, I do. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, bro, I'm in a place right now where I'm trying to bring everyone else around me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be sitting here speaking to people, people and like trying that. to motivate people. But, bro, you have to understand, a lot of people don't have that in them in the sense where they can speak to someone and explain certain things in certain ways and talk to people where pe people's not going to sit there and start listening to a guy as a. Twice, you say, yeah, yeah. Sir, well, people get bored. This is entertaining. They're gonna sit and they're gonna watch every minute of this because, in ways, we can relate to them. Yeah, 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 of course. This man. is what it is, isn't it? People don't want yes, man, especially in business, man. You can't even, I even said yes to you, what did man. I say to you? Yeah, Literally, yeah. I said, brother, if you're gonna start doing all this yes, man yeah, talk yeah, yeah, on this yeah, podcast, yeah. brother, let's just leave it just here. Forget, forget it. Be yeah, controversial, yeah. ask the questions you want to ask, just and I'll straight real. up say it how it is. Mm. And that's what I like about this podcast. It's a very good podcast, by the way. Yeah, you like it, those yeah? numbers. <laughs> you heard it here first, man. Don't worry. So, Any other questions? So you're, so you're in a position where you could retire, man. You could have retired a long time ago. You could have lived that life, you know, just like everyone's probably watching. I want to retire. I want to live on a beach. I want to do this, that, and that. But you've started this. Can I ask how much money have you put into this so far? What, into Paradox? Yeah, yeah into Paradox. Paradox alone? Just Paradox alone. But we and bearing a, in we mind, I haven't even launched yet. So how much money have you put into this? <laughs> we've made a payment. Have you still got the screenshot of the payment we made yesterday? But we made a payment yesterday for like $800,000. Fuck it, it's expensive. What, just one transaction? Just one transaction. It's just, that's... Talk. It, is, it gets... If you, if, bruv, every single day is 20 grand here, 15 grand here. Marketing-wise If alone, you had to put a number... if you had Marketing to put wise a, alone, put it this way. You, you, now, I know your marketing must have been a mazza because the amount of, like top sort of people that you've had marketing your business because <laughs> I'll, I'll mow vlogs this guy this guy I'm thinking your paradox what's this but we've got every Shit. single rapper in the UK yeah because yeah, yeah. the rappers they, they connect with the people yeah of course man and it's, the people it's that are marketing, the people, I like it. you have to understand you could have the best product in the world mm. but if nobody knows about it what fucking good is it I hear that I hear that or you can have a product that's 10% better than everyone else's yeah, yeah, yeah. and market that as 100% You've got the best product in the world.
Mm. Marketing is the most important thing of any business. Mm. That's a TikTok right there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Straight off the bat. But that's what I'm trying to say. Marketing is very important, right? And and I'll be honest with you, we've, we've probably sunk about, I'm going to say 15. But gee, you have to yeah, understand. 15 what? 15 bars, isn't it? Um, yes. 15 million dollars. We do and everything in dollars. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, right? That's a good thing mentioning that. I've made more money in dollars in the last couple of... I've made about a million just in dollars. Gee, mean? when the prices of pounds went down, oh, yeah, like, yeah. right, literally. <laughs> the prices of the pounds went down and um, the price of the dollar was staying where it was, isn't it? So the conversion rate, obviously, we have all our money in dollars because a lot of business we do is in America, Singapore. Okay, and they all okay. work on dollars. So you always mention, when I ever talk money, I always talk dollars. Okay, okay. And... Um, yeah, because of the price of the pound going down, now my dollars are worth just as much as the pound. So now all I got to do there as a business point of view now is just now swap it over to pounds, I wait four or five years. When the pound goes back up again, I'm up again. Mm. But that's because I've got the money to do that. I can put away five, six bars, 10 bars and not have to worry about it for four or five years. The other person sitting there watching this probably hasn't got 10 pound to his name. So we're in two different situations. Does that make sense? We're in two different ends of the boat. Mm. So you can't look at me and think, I want to do what he's got to do. Well, gee, you got to do a hell of a lot to get to where I can do. I can make a money a lot easier today than I could have done 10 years ago. That must be the case, bro. Because, bro, if I was going to be willing to put 50... Did you know you was going to put 15? Nah, nah, nah. Into Obviously, we have expectations in because the sense I'm that we have a marketing budget and we have a, a, a burn rate cost. Our burn rate cost is probably $100,000 just on employees and... And 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 uh, development, just hundred thousand a month. We've been doing this for the last six, seven months. Eight Do you months. feel any pressure? No pressure. But I'm cold as I'm cold. I'm not, I'm, I just thought I'd ask it because I know people are going to be thinking this. Yeah, thinking you put mashallah because you know, and from the from the product and I've seen the gameplay and whatnot, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it looks but it's sick. It's good. It's yeah, good. Yeah, good. It looks sick. I'm not I have. You know, it, yeah. I'm a very. I'm not. I'm not gonna say control freak. I'm a very. Everything has to be in a certain way, in a certain order. If yeah, something's yeah. not done perfectly, I don't want to say it. I don't want to okay. see it. Don't show me something halfway. I want to see it when it's done. So okay. if I could pick faults, I want you to change those faults. That game, it's a bad boy game. I wanted it to be a game that I would play. But if imagine playing a game and getting paid. Like, that's fucking genius. So is that what it is then? You play the game, the longer you play, the more money you earn. <laughs> play and Yo. fucking earn. I'm not going to lie. I came across this and I looked at it and I was thinking, nah, bro, he kind of made this. Man. I've been real with you now, everything, everything is, right? You know what the funny thing is? Every single character that you see, we've got six characters. We have an antagonist. We have um, Billy. We have uh, Kane. We have Darwin. We have all these characters. All those characters, a year ago, I sat there on that desk there and I drew them out myself. I rate that, you know. Drew it myself. That's less mad, isn't it? I've still got the pictures somewhere. Because, bro, because look, before this whole paradox, I knew who you were. I've seen you online. And like you said, you come across, you know, like this big, you know, arrogant in your own words, you know, very controversial guy. And yeah, you got a renting a rental business. And you got I actually don't there. do rental in the morning, you know. Oh, you don't it's do been that. years, but people still know me as because my, my number plate is yeah, Onyx. Onyx yeah, yeah, I can't be asked for that, man. Oh, so we actually... used to do it. I used to have the car sitting around for, you know what? It makes sense. Give them yeah, out yeah. rent while I'm not here. Okay, okay. I think, man. We'll go, we'll go back into that because that's that's kind of the person I've seen you as, yeah? Very outspoken, you know, says how it is and I ain't gonna lie, bro, nine times out of ten, your your content's cracking me up, yeah? And, and you funny jokes, yeah? So, I, and then I've, I've looked at this paradox, yeah? And because I'm, uh, so I do like web design and stuff. So I kind of okay. know a little bit about like coding. What, 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 what yeah? language are you using? So, I, so it's web design, so it's CSS, HTML and okay. JavaScript, yeah? Oh, you JavaScript as well. Yeah, JavaScript's yeah, so, pretty... It's, it's, so you got React. Um, uh, React. So we, we work on React. Yeah, so React is a, a framework React. on JavaScript. So yeah. JavaScript, like the raw code. Your raw code and, and then React's the best. React's yeah. a, like, yeah. the framework on it. So that, uh, inshallah, that's the goal. So guys, anyway, just to, just while we're here, plug out my business, edge.com. If edge? you want to go to e-double-d-g-e.com. Web design, social media marketing, content creation. He's working on JavaScript and React. There you go. He knows what he's talking about. We're a gaming company. This is what I mean. If you never, if I never told you like what I actually do, you don't think I'm a drug dealer, brother. I'm a yeah. fucking nerd, bro. No, but look, that's a, that's the point that I'm trying to make is because so I done computer science at, um, at uh, uni and we. Had I've to done do a nothing little. because I never went uni. But this is the thing, bro. I'm looking at this game. I'm thinking, nah, bro. Like, how there's has not he? one job in this office that I don't know how to do myself. I would never give anyone a job that I would never do myself. I took out the bins. I do everything that I every single thing. That 
that someone here would do, I do. The other day I was sitting in the fucking bin, stamping on the bins, trying to get the cardboard down. We get a lot of deliveries every single day. We get about 10 fucking parcels. Cardboards, you know, some of the motherfuckers, they start fucking getting big, big fucking boxes of cardboard. I was, I was, we've got fucking two massive bins outside. Yeah, I was yeah. in the bins, stamping on the bars, getting it down. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't tell someone that I works for me to go do anything I wouldn't do myself. No, you wouldn't do. I rate that. But the same comes that. to... So I don't know how to code. Okay, okay. Right? I don't know how to code. I ain't going to yeah. lie to you. That, and that's not right? something that you can However, just pick. However, yeah, it, yeah. it, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. But put it this way. If I wanted to learn how to code, You know, Steve Jobs didn't long. know how to code. He, it yeah, was yeah. Steve Wozniak that yeah, kind yeah, of done, yeah. done the whole... But so. I know the whole basics but of you know, JavaScript, yeah, yeah, yeah. C++, yeah, yeah. C++ uh, Python. I, know, I would I know have known this, you know, But bro. you wouldn't have known this because I don't show this. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't show this because that's me in the sense of my work life and this and that. It's not because we're opening up now that we're talking about my business and stuff. No one that looks at me would think, brother, they think they're my fucking drug dealer. Brother, I can tell you right now, anything that gets done in this office has to get a okay from me. Nah, and I if I that. don't know my shit, that okay could be potentially costing me money. Mm. So I need to know my shit, whether it's from X. Brother, I never went to school. I never went to high school. I was fucking bunking off the lessons, right? I never done my GCSEs. I never went to college. I never went to university. Yeah, I had to learn this shit as we're going along. So when, when did you know you had this business acumen where you, you're able to sort of build a team like this, for example, yeah? I don't know how many computers you, know what it is? What, you got here now. One thing is, right, is you can't just become a leader. I'll be honest with you. Okay. People are going to say to you that you can be anything. I'll be, be completely honest with you. Now, this is going to be a bit controversial. Okay. You can't just be a leader. It's something you are, you ain't. And okay. it's something you can't just learn. Being a leader is someone that can that can show you a vision, make you understand that vision and work towards that vision without having you to micromanage every single thing that person does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang on. Right? Having to explain to you, okay, do me a favor, put that mic to the right. Do me a favor. Bruv, it's hard to explain. That's why you don't see every single person in the world is a multi-millionaire. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's straight up, bro. Yeah, no, that's straight up. If it was that easy, every single Everyone. person would be a millionaire, would have big watch. But I've got fucking, Alhamdulillah, we've got some mad stuff. Yeah, no, We've got I've mad stuff it. coming as well. I've seen it. I've but seen what it. I'm trying to say is, if it was that easy, everyone would be doing it. However, my little brother, he's not a leader. Okay. But I can't do anything without him by my side. Okay. It goes hand in hand. Oh, now I respect that, I respect It that, goes yeah. hand in hand. Yeah. I would not be the person I am today yeah. if it wasn't for my brother. Okay. As soon as we was talking, we said something. What did he do? He walked straight past it. Not yeah, saying yeah, that. Not saying Walk that. Walked straight past. But sometimes I don't even know. I could be the most cockiest person in the world that can think, I am always right. And I always am right. <laughs> yeah. In his head, he'd be like, nah, that's not going to work. So it's always good to have someone there with you. I've got my brother. I'm lucky enough. Alhamdulillah, I'm lucky enough to have my brother. He keeps you grounded. He keeps you 100% grounded. I get very big headed. Is he afraid to tell you how it is? Or never, is he one of those Never. Guys? Never. Mm. He's younger than me. And yo, G, that's fucking stupid. We're not doing that. However, he can also be the one that instigates the whole situation. Okay. We were sitting there in the sauna. It cost me a million fucking pounds. <laughs> hey, million dollars. We said we was boosting each, we was boosting each other up. Fucking that's gonna look sick, bro. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh, uh, bruv, it can be working both hand in hand, right? Okay. Don't forget, okay. it's work, but it's it's life as well, isn't it? So, so he's your right hand. He's my right. Of course, he's my right. Hand. Mm. Okay. Now I, I I respect that because you know I'm looking around this um, this and like I said, bro. Like you know, like I said, me looking at your sort of history on online, outspoken guy, very country, and I'm. I'm and this is the thing, this is why I want to get you on the podcast, because the mindset behind someone that can build something like this, not anyone can do this, bro. Do you me? Even I'd find it difficult, even with a certain amount of knowledge I may have in regards to like coding and whatnot, to be able to build a team of this scale and having, you know, spent so much money into sort of, you know, this. Like, what's the end goal with this? The end goal is there is no end goal. Okay. If I wanted to quit, I could have quit a year ago. I could have quit two years ago. I could have quit five years ago. Mm. Cryptocurrency is the, is the future. So we're trying to be ahead of the curve. Okay. Everything's down right now. It's, best, it's, it's a blessing for us. Mm. It gives us more time to develop, mm. right? And this is something that we're going to be doing for a very long time. We've invested a lot of money into this, invested a lot of time into this. And time for me is more than money. Yeah. It's worth more to me than money. Let mm. me give you an example. The other day I needed something. I put it on my Snapchat. And one guy messaged me and said, huh, you spastic, you can get that off the internet for so-and-so. And then another guy said, I can get that for you. It'll be with you in two hours, but it'll cost you 150 quid. 
I said, bruv, take my money, have that in my doorstep within a fucking hour. <laughs> Done. Time means time more means to me more. than money because in that time of me going around looking for this, driving here, I'm not getting my work done. I'm not mm. getting the overall picture done. Mm. Right? No, I'm a I busy that, guy. Yeah, yeah. So for me to invest a lot of time and effort into this, this is something that I'm very passionate about and I know this is going to go, it's, it's going it's to do bits. Mm. Right? Inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah it does bits. Yeah. Right? And we're doing a marketing campaign that we're all launching on the same day. We're going to have millions and millions of people talking about Paradox. And then when we go to market where it launches on exchanges, we're going to have some of the biggest exchanges in the world talking about us. They're going to be messaging directly. If, you got, if you're into crypto, you're going to look at your phone and it's going to say Paradox coin is now listed here. So and so. And you'll have millions and millions of people looking to buy your coin on that given moment, which pushes the price up. And then the market maker's job is to make sure that price stays up. Okay. Okay. Right? So... There's a lot behind the scenes that goes on with Paradox. But Paradox is the new venture that we're going to be doing for a very long time in the sense of, obviously, we've got Paradox Ventures. So we're going to be investing in new projects. It's completely different. There's two types of things. You, and how I've always been like this, right? Either go, ha- go, um, either go hard or don't bother at all. Okay. So you, I could have... You, you, so you're into coding, right? Mm. How do you even make a cryptocurrency coin? Mm. You know, you, I, I, I don't. I don't so I'm, you have so, to. You have to. You have to have a, a, a smart contract. Smart contract, and yeah. it's all done, literally, by rows and rows of code. Okay, it's literally each one is a command that every time that something something happens, then this is it's a contract. It's a okay. smart contract. Okay, right? It's just digital. It's on Web three. Now, what you seem to understand is, is anyone can just go on the internet, type in and copy and paste a smart contract of a cryptocurrency coin and launch it. Very simple. It'll take mm. you an hour. You've got some sort of knowledge. You could do it. It's not a problem. You could list it on PancakeSwap, Binance. What's the Binance's one? Uh, PancakeSwap. Pancake Swap, SushiSwap. Uniswap. No one will buy it. No one cares. Because no one cares. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's this stud. Mm. Getting listed on exchange, any coin that gets listed on PancakeSwap, they're not going to get listed on those big exchanges, in it? Right? Okay. You can't even get through the front door. You can't even speak to them, let alone get listed on them. Mm. We've done something, we've bypassed all of that and gone to the big leagues. We're okay. partnered up with Chainlink. Chainlink's one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the world. We, we have Binance come to our expos. Binance is the biggest exchange in the world. So it's not a joke getting on It's not a joke, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the phone earlier to Hobie, one of the head of the listings. He's a good pal of mine. Okay. Hobie Exchange, the fourth biggest exchange in the world. Their volume every single day. What's the, what's the volume? If you Can you check what the volume is? I think it's like $1.9 billion just today alone. These are people I'm in con- contact with in the sense where they're pally pally, they're friends of mine. So you're putting everything into this. No, no, yeah. no it's not everything. But it's, not as in, as we're in, chilling as well, you know. We're partying as well. No, no, as in your energy. Energy-wise. Energy-wise. Energy you're, you're, energy you know, wise. You're, like you said, go big or go home. Innit? That's it. I don't, but, 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 but listen, what's worse than that? What, lose 10, 15 bars? No problem. It's not going to finish me. However, the experience mm. is going to make it worthwhile for me because yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, man, 100%, 100%. And the way I plan things and the way I do things, mm. if I have two problems, I want 10 solutions. If mm. I have one issue, I want to know there's five resolutions ready for if that goes wrong. Bro, you think I ain't got... Uh, uh, you think I ain't got something sitting up the sleeve of if let's yeah. just say the market conditions go even lower okay, Bitcoin's okay. really bad right now let's just yeah, say it yeah, goes yeah, longer yeah, yeah. and it goes down to 10,000 12,000 we've got plans to make sure that when that does happen we're gonna do so and so and so and so and so because at the end of the day this is a business yeah, yeah, yeah. this is gonna be a public traded company because think about it when someone okay, buys your you cryptocurrency wanna... okay, okay. they're buying a piece of your shares so we gotta now look at not ourselves. We got to look at okay, our investors, our customers, our community members. It's their money. Okay. Once it goes into exchanges, we have no control over this. It's mm. between them, the market conditions, and the exchanges. Our job is to now do some mad shit and get the prices up. Get the prices up and all what you think? Money. We don't know what we're doing. No, but we are very smart guys. We don't sit around. <laughs> so you know with this whole, with this whole paradox here. Yeah? yeah. So like you said, that you, you play and you earn. Yeah. Can you just explain a little bit about that? Because I know a lot of the listeners are going to be like, <laughs> okay, you know, what, what's this? Like you play and you earn. Like, All right. You know, so it's a no brainer. Like why wouldn't everyone do this? It's about? time, isn't it? Okay. You can you can have no money. However, you can have time on your hands. Okay. Right. Yeah. Or you yeah, can yeah, have yeah. money. Money and no time. And no time. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. literally. Oh my god! This is the perfect podcast, right? <laughs> literally, we're just talking about this. Some people want to sit around and play games. 
and not get paid for it. That don't make sense to me. Mm. Like I can, when I'm playing Fortnite, I can do it because I'm rich. <laughs> 17, 18 year old kid that might be sitting there with 10 pounds in his pocket. He's sitting there playing it and it's costing money because he's buying skins, he's upgrading, he's doing all sorts. And time, like you and said, time, time is money. Yeah. So now we've tried making something that the more you play, the more you earn. So in return, you get um, P-Save. P-Save is an in-game currency. Okay. Right? Okay. Sorry, P-Bucks. P-Save, we're going to go into P-Bucks and uh, P-Save and say it. So every time you play this game, you complete milestones, whether it's eight hours, six hours, and so and so. You get, in return, rewarded for your time playing the game and completing missions. So you get a thing called P-Bucks. Okay. P-Bucks is an in-game currency. It has okay. no value outside of the game. Okay. Which then you can later on Thanks to Web3. Web3. Which is 3. the future, man. Trust it's me. It's the future, 100%. Blockchain so thanks to Web3. Yeah. Thanks to Web3. You can then convert your P-Bucks to Paracoin. Okay. Which Paracoin, Paracoin you can then convert to USDT. Okay. Okay. So Paracoin is going to be on the exchange. Is that Paracoin is an exchange. And then you can earn uh, P-Bucks. P-Bucks through the game. Yep. Which you can then turn into yep. Paracoin. Yep. And then you can turn into, there you go, guys. And if you're probably wondering where we got P-Bucks from is just look at Fortnite, V-Bucks. <laughs> okay. If it works, it works, isn't it? It works off, it works. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's, a beautiful it's the beauty of imagination. You have to be very creative. You think when fucking, what's that guy you was mentioning? The guy that done Apple. What was his name? Uh, so you got uh, Steve, Steve, uh, what's Jobs, Steve Jobs. You yeah. think when he sat there on his boardroom table and he's told his employees, listen, we're going to make a phone that when you tap on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit's going to pop up and you're going to be watching Pornhub three o'clock <laughs> in the morning wanking away. You think when he thought, when he's sitting there talking to his boardroom table, he's telling them probably thinking this guy's lost his plot. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But God rest his soul. I don't know if shouldn't be talking about like that, but like it, it, he, he paved the way for everyone. For mm. us to be able to do this in the first place innovator in it, it's yeah. a very innovator you've got to be out, thinking outside the box mm. right and this is what we've done we've done something very outside the box we've done something a bit different right mm. so and that's what we're doing with so you know Marshall, are you doing well and you know Mel, I'll make it uh, give you all the success and you as well you know, bro. and and bro from like you know when I walked in your brother kindly showed us around and he showed us um, sort of some of the stuff that you got here and, and bro let me tell you guys it ain't a joke man he's, he's serious about this and you know like you said, a couple of months is launching, yeah? And then it's actually launching next month. Next month, yeah. Yeah, so next month. On the thirtieth is gonna be on the biggest exchanges in the world. Mm. Um, and I think we start marketing with What what keeps gonna... you motivated? Just because I know we're wrapping up now, we're coming towards the end of the podcast. What keeps me what, what keeps you going, man? Like look, you got so much energy. Like we're what what time is it now? We're quite late in the evening, it's yeah. Twelve o'clock at night. And and my man just got full of energy. Like he's done how many <laughs> podcasts today? I don't care. Like I know this is my podcast. Yeah. Shout out to all the other podcasts. No hate, but like you got so much energy, bro. Like Gee, you know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I think I've been gifted with it. Some see it as a curse. Some see it as a gift. I don't know. And it it works for me. It might mm. not work for someone else. Um, you know it's funny because I was I, I, I obviously a lot of the rappers in my boys. Okay. A lot of my friends. We was here with Mr. the other day. Mm, and I seen on your on your social. And I understand now why he smokes weed. <laughs> I fully get it. Gee, the guy's brain is moving like that. Like that, like that. Yo, he's always on it, bang, 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 bang. His energy's on a different level. And now he needs to smoke weed to calm his some stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah, Same yeah, as yeah. me. I don't smoke weed. I don't do nothing. This is the problem. So my <laughs> brain's moving faster than my hands and I can write even just, eat. I can even write down. It, yeah, man. my brain's moving so fast. Bang, 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 bang. It's moving faster than my hands can even write it down on a piece of paper. Mm. So there's nothing out there that can calm me down in that sense. So that's mm. why I'm always bang, 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 bang on it. I don't know whether it's I was just born with it or whatever it is. I don't know. But... Alhamdulillah, it's worked for me, right? And the motivation all comes from probably, you know what? We've all come from the same place. The people that are probably watching this, they're probably in the same situation. I was many years ago, but there's no one speaking up about it. No one's trying to show people exactly what to do or how to do it. But I've got AT University, right? AT University, Amir Tadi University, we've got 400 kids, 400 kids that are in there. But 400 young up in there. Pakistani, and you're Bengali. personally involved in that as well, yeah? What are you talking about? I have an hours long Zoom call with oh, them every it? single month. Every single month. And so you every single week. Okay. Talking about what's going on, what's this, what's that, what's the economy saying right now, and trying to motivate these kids, right? Is that because you feel as if you're, you've you've done so well in life? I need, you to, need, I need to, to give back. back. I'm 100%. But I'd be the greediest motherfucker in the world. Imagine yeah. take, 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 take. No, I hear that. And then man. I can't give I hear back. That. I hear that. Yeah, but yeah. We, give, we give, brother, alhamdulillah, we don't talk about charity. Mm. We don't need to. Yeah. But let me explain one thing to you. Mm. We give a lot to charity. But Baba, I'm not going to sit here and talk about what I give. Mm. What your left hand gives, your right hand shouldn't even know. That's how I see it. 
Oh, but no, people no. won't see that. They oh, won't no, see none of that. They won't. Mm. And I don't want to show people that. What's mm. this? I've seen that post. They get a phone out. Yeah, we're giving a hundred yeah, pounds. Yeah, they yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. shit on slow with me, bro. Unless you're trying to inspire people. But which fuck I, that. That's but really charity. and truly. Fuck yeah, that, yeah exactly. I ain't on yeah. that shit, man. Nah, nah. nah, this is my way of giving back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, was... can, I can either give you £100 today mm. or teach you how to teach make that you. £100. It's, it's, I don't know where that saying's come from. It's sure. like I can give a man a fish or I can teach a man I'm how to fish. I'm pretty sure that's from the Bible, but it's a pretty big saying. But you understand what I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So you have to understand, it's, it's, it's all the stuff that these kids are probably doing right now, I've done it. Mm. None of it's worked out. No, you... And I'm telling you, it's not going to carry on working out. It's only going to be a matter of time now before... You realize shit is too late because every single thing that you do today is going to have an implication in the future. Let me give you an example. And I'm going to go to gym now because it's looked at my arms are pretty big there, right? <laughs> if I decide today to not go gym, tomorrow I might think, fuck it. Yeah, it's not yeah. going. Then I get comfortable. Then the third day I don't go. Then the fourth day I don't go. Before you know it, it's been a week, it's been a month. Gym's done. Finish. Forget gym. All that progress is gone. I hear that, yeah. Small steps. Imagine today I start gym. Right now. I do a couple of push-ups. I think, fucking hell, my arms are looking pretty big, you know. Then go again tomorrow. My fucking arms are sore, G. Then third day. Then four, then a week, a month's time now. Your chest is popping. Then you're punching 160 kg. I'm benching 160, you know. Cheers. And then next thing you know, you're seeing the improvement. Then you're getting obsessed with it. And you think, right, before you know it, you're fucking... You're looking good, bro. You're looking good, yeah. You're yeah, banging yeah. man's out left, right, and center. It's the same with business. Okay, okay. It's the same with business. I like that principle, actually. You don't want to start a business today. Imagine now. Okay, let's do something today. You're listening there. You're buying. If you're here right now, I don't know how many hours in, but if you're serious about making money, go do something about it today. Don't sit about it today. Your emotion, your em- I've fucking connected with you on an emotional level, bro. <laughs> That's a mad shit. No, no, no. Right no. now, you're emotionally like raw. My man's talking sense, you know. You either fucked up, you're high on zoo, or whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Make that decision right here, right now, while I'm emotionally connected to you, while you're emotionally like, brother, I need to get my pee up. Do something about it. Go watch a video on how to start a business. Bruv, do something, anything. Think of ideas. Bruv, I can almost promise you I've come across so many people in my whole life, the biggest, the baddest businessmen in the world, the most ruthless. I am a ruthless businessman, but I have not met one person that started a business and become an overnight success. And mm. done that business to a point where that's it. That was it. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone. Even up until today, I still make mistakes within business. And I'm Mr. Know-it-all. So that's powerful. just take the chance. Because let me tell you one thing. It's all good saying you're going to do something. Execution is the main thing when it comes to business. Yeah, man. Again, uh, Amil, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it, man. It's been a good interview. Even just being here in the office is an inspiration for me, bro. Like, you know, looking at all this and seeing what you're doing, I'm going to go over to the computers in a minute. I appreciate it, man. But guys, wait for the next one, yeah? Peace.